Hey guys, I'm here with another awesome, innovative product from Smawtree. This one is a customizable extender arm for your GoPro camera. So it comes, it's two pieces, it's made out of aluminum and it comes in two separate pieces and they just look like these aluminum bars with holes in them, but they're really, really awesome. So we'll just go ahead and open them up and maybe set one of them up. So the set comes with three of the arms with a kink in them and then two not with a kink. What you're gonna to need to use these is some GoPro bolts. That would be the, the full hardware setup. So you need a bolt and the nut, or the bolt and the nut from uh, GoPro mounts. You're gonna need uh, two plus the one that's on here, so two extras. Now, for mine, I'm gonna be using the small tree um, thumb screws, GoPro thumb screws. So, this is a little kit and it comes with three thumb screws. One big one to be used with your GoPro and then two smaller ones. All right, so how we do this is we we'll take our first, let's say we're trying to get the camera away from our head. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mount our camera on this end and then we're gonna mount this side to our, um, to our mount. So we're gonna take this, put one of the bent ones down first then the straight one, then another bent one, then the straight one, and then finally the final bent one. Then we're gonna grab one of our thumb screws, unscrew the bolt, slide it through all five pieces of aluminum, stick that thumb screw on the back side, and then tighten it down. Then we're going to grab our mount and slide the aluminum bar into our mount. Bolt it together. And then finally, slide on our GoPro camera. Again, we're going to have to use one of these uh, thumb screws. I'm using the small tree thumb screws as an additional. Um, piece, but if you want to just steal some thumb screws out of your existing GoPro kit, that would also work just fine. Once you have that all tightened down, you can see that this would make for a really cool self-portrait uh, shot. You could use this mount um, like this, and then this could be on the front of your helmet, and then that could face back towards you. You can also use this to extend the camera upwards a fair bit if you wanted to shoot a little bit higher shots. And then the other thing that's really cool with this is that there's a lot of flexibility in how you use it. So if you wanted to make this mount more secure and not have the ability for it to flex, you could just slide the bars together a little bit. Maybe say like right there put this thumb screw back through here and then another one up front and now there'd be absolutely no way for this mount to move and you've gotten a very long extension to um, whatever kind of mount you're trying to use. Also works with a little bit of a handle. Another cool way I've seen this used is to um, mount it like a T. So we take this mount out here slide this underneath like this. Then you could put um, two separate GoPros on it if you wanted to have them shooting different things. You could put one on either side facing down. My camera's not facing the right way, but you get the idea. We could put one camera here, and we could put another camera over here facing the other way, and then use two cameras that way. Um, so really all kinds of um, flexibility and creative options are opened up with a mount like this so really really cool you do have to use both the pieces together this is because if you look at the gopro mounts one side has three teeth and then the other side has two teeth uh, as you can see here this side has three teeth because there's three plates of aluminum and then this side has two because there's two plates of aluminum so you cannot simply use one of these you'd end up um, butting into three pieces which wouldn't work I got the opportunity to take the small tree aluminum extender arms out skiing and the results are spectacular. 
the view you get facing back at yourself is really really cool the disadvantages though they do add a quite a bit of weight to the front of your helmet and I found myself uh, being quite annoyed with it while I was skiing with it I made it down about half a run and before I was just like fed up and took it off that said after I came back and looked at the shots I got from them I kind of wished I'd kept it on longer this is a really cool mount and I would definitely look at checking it out. They're not very expensive and the shots you will get with them and the flexibility it adds is awesome. Uh, just don't think you're going to be using this on top of your helmet every single run of the day because that um, the bars add a lot of mass and then it hangs that camera about a foot and a half in front of your helmet. So uh, you look like a little bit of a wing nut sticking around with this hel uh, camera sticking off the front of your head but again the video results you get are pretty spectacular. So guys, that was another really cool, innovative product from Sma Tree. If you uh, enjoyed this video, please make sure you like it. Check out my channel for lots more videos and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below in the, in the comment section and I will be sure to read them and try to respond. If you have uh, anything more than a comment, you can head over, on over to the Facebook page and check out uh, what's going on over there. There's a little bit more engagement with fans over there so if you want to check that out it would be um cool and most of all guys until next time thanks for watching